Hi guys, is your Windows 11 PC running slow, lagging or freezing even during basic tasks? In this video, I'll show you 9 clear steps to improve performance and reduce lags. Among these, steps 2, 3, 4 and 6 are the most effective and are also my personal recommendation if you want to see a noticeable improvement immediately. After applying these steps, my 7 year old laptop is now running Windows 11 without any major performance issue. And I didn't upgrade any hardware. Upgrading from a hard drive to an SSD can make your PC up to 10 times faster but before spending any money on any upgrades, I recommend trying these steps first for immediate results. So let's see. So in the first step, we are going to delete the temporary files. For that, we need to open the run dialog box, type run in the search bar, go to the run window or you can press windows plus R button simultaneously on your keyboard to open the run dialog box. Now in the search bar type temp temp and click ok. Give the permission to see all the temporary files that are present on your computer. Now select everything by pressing ctrl plus A on your keyboard and pressing and holding the shift button on your keyboard press delete to delete everything permanently. Click ok. Now for these files that are not deletable tick this checkbox and click on skip. Ok. Now do the same thing, open the run dialog box and this time you need to type percent temp percent and click ok. Select everything by pressing ctrl plus A on your keyboard and delete by the same method. In the second step, turn on the storage sense to delete the temporary files automatically. So first go to settings, then system, storage, turn on the storage sense from here, then go to cleanup recommendation, click on this advanced option and now please make sure recycle bins downloads, these two checkbox are not checked and all others are checked then click on remove files, continue. Okay. With that, we are done with the second step. In the third step, we are going to enable the best performance mode. For that, open the run dialog box as I have already said. This time type sysdm.cpl. Go to advanced tab and then click on settings under performance tab. Click on adjust for best performance and then please make sure you turn this check for checkbox please make sure you click this for checkbox okay once you are done now click on apply and okay in the fourth step we are going to disable the startup application that opens by default when you turn on your computer so right click on the tax bar open tax manager and then from the left of corner go to startup apps and from here find those application that you don't want to be your startup application so as you can see there are some application that are already enabled and some are disabled as the startup application so let us right click and click on disable okay by this you can now disable any application that you don't want to be your startup application like this OneDrive and this Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. I don't want to be these applications to be my startup application. Make sure you don't disable this security health system. Anyway, now in the step 5, we are going to disable the transparency effect. Go to settings, then go to personalization, under colors, turn off this transparency effects. But this has a minimal role on your system performance so you can turn this on also. In the step 6 we are going to tweak some windows and app permissions. So for that go to settings first. Then under privacy and security. Under windows permission go to recommendation and offers and turn off everything. There is no necessary thing so go to speech, turn this off. Go to image and typing personalization, turn everything off. 
but under search permission please make sure you don't turn this off please set it moderate under cloud uh, and history please turn off everything and here under searching window turn this off and now in under app permission turn every application that you don't want like this location and camera access microphone if you don't use zoom calls or anything so try to uh, turn off maximum permission from here so once you are done with this now we are ready to go to the next step so in the next step we are going to change the notification permission so for that go to system then notification and then you can see under suggested turn this off suggested notification and microsoft store autoplay i don't need, need any notification from here except the settings and phone link i will disable everything or you can just disable notification from here also if you turn this off you can see every notifications are now turned off anyway now in the step 8 we are going to disable some unnecessary services so go to services.msc first open the run dialog box type services dot msc hit enter here you need to disable some services so just follow along this video find downloaded map manager right click and go to properties and please make sure you select disabled then apply and ok do the same thing for geolocation service just right click go to properties make sure you select disabled apply and ok now if you are not using virtualization then you will select the hyper v and then right click and disable now windows image acquisition right click and disable okay that's it for this step in the step 9 we are going to uninstall some unnecessary applications so for that go to settings then apps then installed apps and from here find these applications that are not uh, required anymore and then click on uninstall from the right side triple dot okay so this news from microsoft corporation i don't need this so i'll uninstall these things also the remote text of connection so you find according to your needs and then uninstall these applications now follow along this video to see which applications to uninstall now after deleting or uninstalling these applications you might see a major performance upgrade on your computer and you can also comment down if you are having any issue or if there is any improvement or not this was the complete video thank you for watching the video till the end see you in the next video till then stay safe